Uh, for me, it was very easy. I never missed a step because my dream was to wrestle in Japan. And people who know me know that that's WWE for me was the goal. I mean, yeah, it's the top company in the world. That's where you want to go when you lace up your boots. But for me, my dream was to wrestle at Cork and Hall, to wrestle in, Tokyo, in the Tokyo Dome. And when I was at WWE, I used to say, you know, all the time, before I hang my boots up, at least once in my career, I want to hear that audience go, whoa. <laughs> that, was, that was, for me, what I needed. And people will ask me, MVP, you know, what, 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 you know, do you still get nervous or what's the match you were most nervous for? And it wasn't WrestleMania. It wasn't Wrestle Kingdom. It wasn't Battle for Glory. My, the, the one match that I was the most nervous for was my very first match at Cork and Hall. Because to me, that place is ECW Arena and Madison Square Garden rolled into one. The fans that go there, they know wrestling extremely well. And they won't hesitate to let you know of your shit. And the fact that I was able to get an MVP chant in Cork and Hall from Japanese fans meant more to me than I could really express. So leaving the sports entertainment style of WWE to go to the hard hitting strong style of, of new Japan was uh, a very easy transition for me because it's what I always wanted to do. Now, as far as being in new Japan, you said you always had that love and that passion for pure style for the, you know, Japanese style. Where did that come from? Was it, was it some sort of tape trading that you saw? What, what, like what kind of attracted you to new Japan and to the Japanese style of wrestling? Norma Smiley was one of my early mentors. Um, I was trained by a guy named soul man, Alex G who was a uh, part of the soul patrol with global wrestling back in the day. And uh, oh, yeah. as, as WCW was coming to its close, Norman would come around I'm from Miami, and Norman lived in South Florida, and he came up with the guys and trained me. So he would come around, and for whatever reason, he just took a liking to me. And uh, I don't know, maybe he just saw my my uh, how seriously I took professional wrestling and, and my desire to make it uh, my career. And he started to spend time with me, just polishing me and, and refining me a bit. And one afternoon, we went to his house, and – he popped in a tape and said, let me show you some cool shit. And I remember for the first time, I saw a tag team match with Manami Toyota, and I don't re recall her partner against Aja Kong, and I don't remember who her partner was. I just remember seeing some of the most brutal, physical, death-defying wrestling I had ever seen. And at the pinfall... I stood up and I told Norman, that's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. And he said, Hassan, have a seat. That was just the first fall. And I went, what? <laughs> I want to do that. So then after that, he showed me, you know, matches with uh, Misawa and Kabashi and, and Kawada and, you know, that, that early 90s All Japan. And, you know, then you know, my interest was peaked. And then, you know, and I come from the tape trading days. So the next thing I know, I'm just – you know, inundated with VHS tapes of Chono and, and, and Team 2000 and, and all of the stuff that really got me into Japanese wrestling. And growing up, I've always been a Japanophile. I've always been fascinated with the history and the culture of feudal Japan and, and you know, the anime culture. So <clears throat> discovering that, you know, they had professional wrestling there and that professional wrestling in Japan was treated more like sport than spectacle, it just... Uh, it, it hit me in all the right spots, and I said, that's, that's what I want to do. That's where I want to go. I want to do that that way. So I guess at, at the end of the day, I have Norman Smiley to thank for that, who spent time over there wrestling for UWF. Uh, I think early 90s it was. Can't recall exactly when, but he uh, trained under the legendary Fujiwara and Minoru Suzuki and then that whole crew. <laughs> 